The Decroy with Traffle with Tank and Miswa is dead. Long live the Rafu! Hey internet, I'm Steve the Cosmere Knot, and welcome to Rafo. A statistic that I made up is that about 60% of all posts on the internet related to Brandon Sanderson or the Cosmere are from people wanting to know what they should read next. Interestingly enough, 60% of responses to those posts are people saying Mistborn. And they're not wrong? But there's a lot of nuance as to where you can start reading Sanderson. Ultimately, there's no wrong place to get into the Cosmere, though there may be a better place depending on what you're into. These are all excellent starting points. If you don't know whether you want to commit to well over 11,000 pages yet, all of these are standalone stories that are really accessible and get you hooked, I mean used to, Sanderson's writing. Now, to completely contradict that, after much study and research, here is the actual right order to read the Cosmere. Based on the previous definitive Cosmere reading order, if you want to read and find out all the things and notice connections in the most satisfying way, the Sander fandom is big into acronyms. This new reading order, dubbed the Read and Find Out order, is basically a combination of the two leading schools of thought when it comes to reading the Cosmere. Chronological. That, that's just one. Chronological in their universe, or chronological in ours? Timeline or publication? Now, there's merit to both of these. With timeline order, you learn about the Cosmere as it's actively progressing, and typically the reveals will usually build on each other fairly naturally. The main downside is, frankly, you have to start with White Sand. Plus, Six of the Dusk goes really late, and Mistborn Era 2 feels weird. Publication order gives you the reveals in the same way the stalwarts reading Sanderson from the beginning got them. And there's a natural progression there too. But then you get a bunch of stories all mixed together. The Rafu mitigates the downsides to these approaches, while heightening the upsides. If you got one of my bookmarks during Dragonsteel 2023, this order supersedes what's on here. Literally the day after I got these, I realized, uh, no, I want to tweak that. Like with the original Decroy with Traffo with Tank at Miswa, the Rafu starts you out on Elantris, Brandon's first published novel and a great baseline for his writing style. It only goes up from here, mostly. It's a great story with a solid romance and sows the seeds for significant things later. Hoyd's first appearance is here. A bit after the end of Elantris, we've got the short story, The Hope of Elantris. Written while Brandon and Emily were dating, the main character is named after one of Emily's students who did a rather outstanding book report on Brandon's first book, which she later gave to them as a wedding present. Staying on Cell, here's one of Brandon's recommended starting points to the Cosmere, The Emperor's Soul. It's one of my favorites. Shorter, so less of a page commitment, absolutely fascinating story, and one of the best explanations of realmatic theory, basically the underlying magic system of the entire Cosmere, until Stormlight. Jumping to a different planet, here you'd read White Sand, the only graphic novel in the Cosmere. It used to be three separate books, but they just recently came out with an updated omnibus edition, which is really good. Don't spring for the fancy version, just get the hardcover if you want a good copy. And then we get to my favorite, and honestly my usual recommended convince someone to read Sanderson book, Mistborn. Read the entire trilogy, catching Hoyd a couple more times, then jump back before Final Empire with the prequely short story Eleventh Metal. Knowing what you know about the workings of Scadriel, you should notice some things there that you wouldn't have if you had read it first. Hopping forward in the timeline a bit, but establishing concepts and characters for later books, read Shadows for Silence in the Forests of Hell. Again, one of my favorites. I say that a lot. Are there any that aren't my favorite? Yeah. Then, even further into the future, but with important info, we come to Sixth of the Dusk. Last required reading before Stormlight is Warbreaker, another solid entry point into the Cosmere. Great story. Honestly, it's kind of more of a mystery novel set in a fantasy world than anything else. And it's really important later. Now is where I deviate most significantly from my previous reading order. With the end of Stormlight and Mistborn Era 2, there are reveals there that I think are most impactful if you get them simultaneously. More similar to publication order. So now I recommend swapping back and forth between the two series. This also sort of gives you a break from the beefiness of Stormlight with the typically more lighter stakes of Wax and Wayne. I've got the main books jumping between each other, with the novellas helping you to ramp back into the world after you come back. But honestly, you could do it this way, or this way, it, it doesn't matter. 
Finishing up Stormlight, Knights of Wind and Truth will probably go here. And Mistborn Era 2, you're gonna feel things, man. We finally get to the secret projects. Chronologically, these happen pretty later in the Cosmere, so having knowledge of the rest I think is more satisfying. However, again, if you're not sure you want to jump into all of this right away, both Tress of the Emerald Sea and Yumi and the Nightmare Painter would be great introductions to Sanderson's work. There's connections to other books, yeah, but it's not overt. They won't distract you from the story. Sunlit Man, however, deserves its place at the very end. I'd be fascinated to hear someone's take on it having never read Stormlight, but I don't want to inflict that on anyone else either. Someone somewhere on the internet has done that. I'm sorry, but also tell me about it. And that's the Cosmere! Let me know in the comments where you started out, or how your recommended reading order may be different. Yeah, yeah, Warbreaker order. As always, thank you for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, and of course, Dalinar's butt, as well as everyone else, thank you for your support. If you like my content, join them for some awesome perks. There's a lot of Cosmere to get through, and Brandon writes faster than we can read, so there's always more to read and find out. It's probably closer to 12,000 pages, honestly. There's gonna be like 15,000 once Knights of Wind and Truth comes out. The end.